Hey what's up guys, in today's lesson we're going to learn how untrigger enter, untrigger stay and untrigger exit works. So without further ado guys, let's get started. So as usual, let's go ahead and look at what we currently have set up here. We have a small scene with two platforms, we have a block in the middle that contains a collider, and we also have a player which is a little bit odd right now because he's not in the right position, but when we hit play, it works fine and we can move it around. Okay, so the goal in this episode is we are going to make this block over here appear, so we're, we're going to start with the block inactive, we're going to make it appear by walking inside of a trigger, then once we're on top of the block, we're going to use another trigger to make it go forward, and at the very end here we're going to use another trigger exit to make the block disappear. So let's go ahead and create that right now. I am going to wipe what I already done before and we are going to create ourselves some trigger and triggers can be pretty much anything as long as it have a um, collider on it. So for the sake of this tutorial I'll be using cubes. So I'm gonna go ahead and create myself a new cube, position it say somewhere over here and I am going to go ahead and create myself a untrigger script for that very object. Since this is the one I'm going to be using when I enter the, uh, the trigger, I'll call this one enter, just simply like that. So a new C sharp script called enter. Let's open it inside of model develop. And now, if you want to use the untrigger function, all you have to do is, is pretty much just write it properly. So do a private void on trigger enter, just like this. Now don't forget the capital letters, and now what happens is if this script is on top of an object that has a trigger, then this function is going to be called whenever an object with a rigid body is entering that very trigger. Um, character controller object works as well. So let's go ahead and make this um, do something. So what we said is we want this block to appear when we walk inside of that trigger. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that this block is not there. So I'll set it to inactive, and then I will have a reference to it inside the script. So I create myself a public game object, and I call this the move platform. And when we enter that trigger, then move platform dot set active is going to be true. So we're pretty much just spawning this platform. Now, this is the cube we're going to be using for the untrigger script. So I call it unenter. And now we're going to do some setup on this very cube. So, first off, let's set the move platform um, in our move platform field over here. So, take this over here, drop it in our field. Now, in order for this to work, in order for this to become a trigger, we need to go inside of his box collider and check the is trigger uh, checkbox over here. Now, let's go ahead and just try it out real quick so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to walk up to it and then the untrigger enter is called and the object is spawned. Okay, so this is what happens whenever we enter the trigger, so this is why this is called untrigger enter. Now let's go ahead and do another of these function. Let's go ahead and create ourselves another object, so a new 3D object, another cube, and just for the sake of this I will go ahead and reactivate my move platform because I want this to be part of my move platform. So I'll go ahead and position this on top of my move platform somewhere over here and make sure that this box collider is now on trigger and we'll go ahead and create ourselves a script there. So this is the on trigger stay. So I'll go ahead and create myself a script uh, called stay. So in there I will go ahead and create myself um, pretty much just the same thing. So let's do a public game object move platform which is a reference to the object we're going to be moving and then this function is called on trigger stay just like that now on trigger stay is a little bit different than on trigger enter and on trigger exit it's not only called once it's called as long as you are inside that very trigger so this is like an update running if you're inside that very trigger. For this one, what we wanted to do is whenever we're inside of that um, trigger, 
we want the box below us to keep on moving forward. So the next thing I'll do is I actually go ahead and change this name for on stay and this is the cube on top of the platform and I'll make this a children of the move platform just for this very mechanic and then over here where it says um, where our script is, our script component we have to reassign the move platform component so let's go ahead take the move platform and drag and drop it right here okay now we can use that very move platform in our script and we'll simply do move platform dot um, transform dot position is plus equal to move platform dot transform dot forward so the platform is going to go forward um, and we can do times time dot delta time as well I just move this back on the screen just to regulate it and uh, so it doesn't go too too fast okay now let's try this out and we are going to hit play walk up to that platform and as long as we're on top of that very trigger it's going to move forward now if we leave that trigger it's not moving forward anymore but if we go back then it works again okay so that is pretty much how the untrigger stay works it's like an update called as long as you're inside of the very trigger and finally we'll do the last one which is the on exit I'll go ahead and copy the on enter put it over here on the other side change its name for on exit and I will also remove the component create a new script called exit oh this is an issue apparently you cannot call a script exit or can you okay never mind so never mind that little error and let's go inside of our script so it's the very same thing again I am going to take a reference to that platform so public game object move platform and in here we'll do private void on trigger exit just like this and just like the enter um, we're pretty much just set active that platform so move platform set active to false when we exit that trigger so let's go ahead and set the move platform in the move platform field over here just like this let's also change the name to clean this up a little bit so on exit and also make sure that the is trigger is checked okay now I'm going to go ahead and remove the move platform not remove but uh, deactivate it just like this and we're going to test out our little mechanic we just made so whenever we enter that box it should spawn the um, the move platform here it is now whenever we are inside of that trigger on top of the move platform it should go forward and it does now we're gonna make it to the other side just like this and now whenever I'm going to enter this trigger, whenever we enter it does nothing but as soon as we're going to exit that very trigger I'm in right now it should despawn the move platform object so let's go ahead and try that and it just disappeared so this is pretty much how the trigger works guys this was on trigger enter on trigger stay and on trigger exit you can be using it to activate doors to activate timers to move something while you're inside of it I don't know there's a bunch of things you can do with the triggers so I hope this was helpful to you guys please leave a like if it did and also if you have any question or comment please leave a comment in the section below and subscribe for more tutorials Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.